Welcome to CM.com's Conversational AI Cloud product demo. Today, we'll be setting up an intent model through our intent import feature. We'll set up a few dialogues for our project, and we'll look at real-time language detection and translations to make sure we can serve our end users in whatever language they prefer. Intent recognition is the task of taking any input and classifying it based on what the end user wants to achieve. Intent recognition forms the basis of recognition in conversational AI Cloud and plays a key role in driving sales conversions, customer support, and any other areas where our platform plays a role. Let's start off by navigating to the conversational AI Cloud CMS. As you can see, I'm already logged into the platform and I already have a project available for this demo. I'll select the project that we'll be working on in English today. Let's navigate over to the intent screen where we're going to be importing our intents. Here on the right hand side, we have a button that says import. I can select the CSV file to upload, which I've prepared ahead of time, and I can upload and validate it. After uploading and validating it, I can inspect what intents I'll actually be importing. So here we can inspect the training phrases that we define in the CSV. And if we're happy with them, we can choose to import them, which we'll do right now. After importing, we see in the intent model overview page that we have a new intent added to our project. When we subsequently click on the train button, the intent model will start training and immediately we'll see that it finalized the training process and we have a trained intent model that we can continue to work with. After training, we're ready to start defining an answer for our intent when it's triggered by an end user. Answers in conversational AI cloud are added to articles, also called Q&As, dialogues, and events. For now, let's create a new Q&A. What we'll do is we'll navigate to the Q&A screen, and Q&As represent articles in conversational AI cloud, and they form the core of any project. For the purposes of this demo, we'll create a simple Q&A with a question that's linked to an intent and a simple answer for now. So if we start creating a Q&A, then we'll define return order as the question, and we'll say, you can return any order within 14 days after receiving it. And then we'll create this Q&A. And as we can see, the question is immediately tagged with an intent. Conversational AI Cloud was able to detect that the question trigger we added to this article related to the intent we just imported for our project and made sure the two were linked to each other. If we navigate to the intent screen, click on the return order intent and slide out the Q&A expansion panel, we also see the Q&A pop back up here, indicating the relation between the two. So far, we've imported an intent and we created a Q&A with an answer, which was linked to the intent by our intelligent AI. Now, let's test out what we've done so far by asking a question to our project and seeing if the expected intent is matched and the right answer is returned. For this demo, I've gone ahead and set up an instance of our standard web chat interface that's available for all our customers. This interface can be fully customized according to a customer's needs and works out of the box with all conversational AI cloud features. No coding required whatsoever. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to go into the customization part of web conversations, but what we can do is interact with the configuration that's already prepared for us. So from the CMS, we're immediately going into a different tab that we prepared, where we have an empty screen with web conversations at the bottom right-hand side. If we click on the avatar, we're presented with the welcome message that we defined for our project, and we can ask it a bunch of questions. What we're gonna test is we're gonna test out the intent that we defined earlier to see whether or not it's actually pick up, uh, able to pick up on the slight variations in training phrases that our customers might present to us. So we're gonna say, I'd like to return my purchase. And what we're expecting here is we're expecting the system to provide us with the answer that it just did. And we're just gonna be trying a bunch of variations to make sure that whatever way our end user decides uh, to trigger the return order intent, that the system is able to pick it up. If ever we run into a scenario where the intent isn't picked up, we can add it as a training phrase to the project. We can also say things like we're unhappy with our order. And so far, everything is looking great. We can say return a purchase instead of returning an order. 
But we can also give it something slightly random, something that doesn't necessarily make sense from a linguistic point of view, saying purchase, return, order, and a bunch of meaningless words that don't relate to the intent at all. But the core of what we're asking is to return an order, which the system was able to pick up seamlessly. As you can see, this works. We have a basic intent and a basic answer to go along with it. But I think we can squeeze in one more addition to this flow. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be defining a dialogue. So what we have right now is we have the return order intent. And from the return order intent, we have a fairly generic response by the return policy. But let's see if we can make that a bit more specific. So we're going to be creating a new dialogue related to returning an order. And immediately, we're presented with the dialogue creation canvas. And we have one start node to get started with. If we click on it, there's a bunch of settings missing, which we'll add in a second. For now, we're going to be naming this node the start node, as it's the entry, entry point for our dialogue. And what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be mapping out the dialogue. So a dialogue in conversational AI cloud is essentially a decision tree that our customers walk through to get to the answer that they're looking for. So right now, we have nothing, so we're going to give it one dialogue node surrounding our return policy and one dialogue node specifically if a customer actually wants to trigger a return flow. And just in case a customer uh, is asking about our policy and is done with the subject afterwards, we'll have an exit dialogue node. And just in case they also want to actually return the order after hearing about what our return policy is, we'll link these nodes to each other. And what we have right now is we have the basic layout for our dialogue. What we'll do is we'll define a set of answers. What we're going to be doing first is we're going to be defining the answer for our dialogue start node. I understood that you're looking for more information around returning your order. I'd be happy to help you out further. First off, what specifically do you want me to help you out with? Let's drag that as an answer onto the dialogue node. And we're going to be adding different answers for the different policies. So here, or for the different nodes, here we have the answer for our policy node, stating that you can return any order within 14 days of receiving it with a follow-up question stating, I can help you out with that if you want. Just let me know and we can get started. And again, dragging that answer to the right-hand side on the node. I'm going to do the same for the returning the order node. Instead here, a customer actually wants to return something. So what we'll say, is in order to return an order, you'll need to get a return label. You can get one by registering your return, which you can do here. Now, what we could also do is instead of providing the customer with a link to a URL where they can actually register their order for a return, is we could also do that entirely within the conversation. But for the purpose of this demo, we'll simply link them to our website. And then let's say the customer is finished with our dialogue. We can say, thank you. I hope I was able to help you out. Is there anything else? I could help you up, help you with. And again, drag that to the right hand side. So what we have right now is we have a basic dialogue structure. We've defined the answers on the nodes, but we haven't defined any triggers for the dialogue nodes yet. What we'll do is we'll be adding a bunch of dialogue options. And these are clickable options that will be presented to the end user. So in case the customer wants to know about, about the return policy, we'll provide them with an option saying, I want to know about your return policy. 
in the case they want to return an order, we'll provide them with an option stating, I want to return my order. And when they go from the policy to the return order slide, we presented them with the question of whether or not we should help them out with that. So if they say yes, then we'll go to this part of the dialogue in the decision tree. And if they're saying no thank you, then we'll exit them out of the dialogue in a graceful way. Now that our dialogue is finished, we can go ahead and link it to the Q&A we created earlier. We can change the standard answer we defined earlier to link to this dialogue instead. So in the CMS UI, we'll navigate to intents. We can also do it from the Q&A screen. But here, I can also show you a way to jump from the intent screen to the dialogue screen or to the Q&A screen. So here we have a Q&A, we'll click edit Q&A and immediately we have the Q&A that we want to edit on the right hand side. If now we want to add the dialogue we just created to the Q&A, we can just select it from the tab here and drag it onto the answer section of the Q&A. And now all that's left for us to do is mark this answer as the default answer, which means that we can get rid of our standard return policy answer, since that's also covered in the dialogue. So we'll delete that and we'll save this. Let's ask one of the questions we asked earlier, and let's see if the dialogue will be triggered as we expect it to be. So from our CMS, again, we navigate to the web conversation screen that we've set up, and we'll just trigger the return order again. So we won't go into any crazy variations for right now. We'll just say return order. What we're expecting here is we're expecting the dialogue to be returned that we just created, which is exactly what we got. So we got the welcome message that we define on the start note for the dialogue. We're presented with two of the options that we defined as the first few leaves in our dialogue decision tree. We can select one of them. So let's ask about the return policy. We're presented with the return policy that we find on the dialogue note. And then we're presented with the option to help us out. If you want to actually return an order, we'll say yes. And then we're presented with the answer that we need a return label and that we can actually jump to a screen through the link that we define on the answer. And this is the dialogue that we fully walk through. Now, let's try this out um, in another language. So earlier we said that we're going to also be testing out the real-time language detection and translation feature. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be phrasing uh, the same question for returning an order, but in Dutch, saying, kan ik mijn bestelling Returneren. And then immediately we see that the conversation is picked up in Dutch, saying, Ik begreep dat je op zoek bent meer informatie over het returneren van je bestelling, with the dialogue options translated as well. And we can simply walk through the dialogue as we expected to uh, earlier. But instead of English, it's now in Dutch. And this works in over 100 languages. In this brief demo, we've set up an entire conversational flow by importing a predefined intent model, creating an article that was automatically linked by our intelligent AI, and we've created a guided dialog path for our users to follow. And to top it all off, we were able to test it in an interface that we can configure ourselves and offer to our end users, all without writing a single line of code, offering it in over 100 languages. Of course, there are many more steps to take in working out this project further, like customizing the standard message that we're presented with whenever we initialize a conversation or linking this project to our order management system to actually set up the return order flow and get a return label entirely through our conversation. As it stands, we'd be good to go live with this single flow. We'd be able to help our customers out with this specific scenario. Thank you for taking the time to look at our conversational AI cloud solution.